lads. I've got a feeling our band is about to go big time. Yeah, really big time. In fact, so big that our band office will no longer be a closet. Yeah, we'll be so big that people will just start handing us money. Tim, Tim, that's just young and naive. People will not just start handing us money. Tim, it doesn't happen that way, man. That's TV show stuff. It's not real. Oh, oh, here's your coat, sir. Please come back soon. Oh, thanks. Whoa, it started happening already. So how's that milk, Steve? Oh, it's good, Murray. Hey, can I have another of the same? Mm. Hey, Murray, I gotta tell you something. I got this feeling deep down in right here that my band is about to go big time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Murray, orders for tables four and five. Wow, oh, Lonnie, you scared me. Why are you a marketing college friend's prank you or something? Marketing? I don't do that stuff anymore. I'm majoring in cosmetology. It's my new passion. All right, and what? So this whole thing here is what, what they're teaching you? What? Well, no, not exactly. I've just been experimenting with some looks. <gasps> Can I try on you? No. No, no, no. Murray, no. Murray, Murray, something amazing has happened. Well, I hope it's amazing, because you look terrible. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I haven't slept at all in weeks. Gonna be away next week. Hula hula competition. Huge, haven't slept. Ah! Oh, calm down. That's just lying. She's going through a phase. What you trying to say anyway? Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, oh sorry, was that me? Yeah. Did I do no, that? It's, was that you? It's fine. Did you do that? Ricky, it's fine. It's okay. fine. All right. Hey, you've been invited to play your ukulele at the Hawaiian State Hula Championships. Oh. That's pretty cool. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's a massive honor chance of a lifetime for a native Hawaiian like myself. That's why I've dedicated my life to playing the ukulele. Oh, ukulele, I gotta get practicing. Pra what you practicing? You're supposed to be playing in the milk bar right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play while I practice, Murray. I, I haven't slept in two days and two nights. Gotta practice, gotta be the best. Ah, uh -uh. gotta stay away. Hey, hey, Murray. Right. So I was just thinking, right? Was Ricky out of town next week? You're gonna need someone to fill in for him, right? Oh, I guess so, but where would I get live music at such short notice? Uh, Murray, the lads, we could do it. It could be just the big break we've been looking for. Yeah, well, I don't know much about bands, but I do know my milks. <laughs> and having a band with no guitars is kind of like having milk with no, mm hmm All you got is the ilk. <laughs> 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 Get out of here, Murray. Hey, 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 so Murray, so what you're saying is that if we find a guitarist for the lads, we got the gig? No. That's great! Hey, thanks, Murray, that's it's, awesome. See you later, man. It's not, it's, it's, it's not. Okay. okay, manager, do you have any sevens? Go fish. Mark, do you have any fives? Oh, manager, it's as if you're knowing what cards I have all along. Well, I have a certain level of skill at this type of thing. Do you? Or are there some hidden cameras somewhere around this control room? Maybe controlled by this here console over here. Careful, Mark, that button blows up Liechtenstein. That one? Or does it blow up Liechtenstein? Perhaps it actually shuts down the internal hidden camera system. We'll see. Let it start destruction in three, two, one. Oh, oops. Obviously, you were right and you weren't cheating at all. <laughs> ah. oh. 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 Hey, Mark, 
Manager, guess what? I've got great news. Oh, what, Steve? What? Well, Murray said if we find a new guitarist by next week, we can fill in for Ricky while he's away in Hawaii. A live gig? That is oh for awesome. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Okay. Great news, boys. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about the guitar player situation. You know about the guitar player situation, manager? Yes. In fact, I already have someone in mind. Someone you won't expect. Don't worry, manager. We will search high and low for this person you speak of. No, no. No need to search, Steve. I already have someone. Hmm. Manager, we will not let you down. Mark, let's go. The search begins now. The search? Uh, OK, manager, do not look at my cards. Gotta stay away, I can't sleep. Gotta keep practicing. Murray, who does your makeup? Um, nobody. And I actually like to keep it that way. <laughs> oh, because I really need some people to practice on. Do you think I could set up a booth in the corner of the milk bar? Would it make a difference if I said no? You know, not really. <laughs> yeah. Did he? Hey, Mark. Oh, oh, g'day, Tim. Sorry, I'm on the phone, mate. Really, and what happened then? Re no. Really? Oh, I can't believe it. OK, Lance, right? Lance, Lance, listen up. Oh, what? Oh, sorry, got to go. Nice. All right, it's time for an update on our guitarist situation. All right. Uh, Tim, you go first. Oh, well, Steve, I've been hitting the streets with this sign that you made for me. Oh, uh -uh. yeah, uh, no luck yet, Steve. <sighs> Oh, Mark, how about you? How have you been doing? Well, Steve, I found this new thing here called a, a phone book. It's incredible. It's chock-a-block full of names and people's phone numbers. I didn't know it contained all that information. Oh, yeah? I thought it just helped kids sit up big at the dinner table. <laughs> oh, right. Who would have thought there'd be this much information stuffed inside a booster chair? Oh, I feel that I need to call everyone in town and thank them for helping me eat my supper all these years. Let's, oh, let's, right let's, let's, let's. Mark, did you find anyone yet? Oh, well, I'll tell you, what I've been doing, Steve, is I've been systematically going through the numbers and calling them all to see if they've got a guitar player. Yeah, yeah, but did you find anybody? No, no, not an actual guitar player, but I've made a lot of new friends, and on Monday, I've booked us all in for a free introductory Pilates session, and on Tuesday, we're all going to Grandma Mabel's for lasagna! I love lasagna! OK, lads, lads, we've got a problem here. This isn't going very well. <laughs> Really? Got any guitar players there? Yeah. Bink -a -link -a -link -a no, 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 no. OK. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, just doing another phone call. Really? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Is that right? Really? No, she didn't, did she? She didn't. Di did she really? I cannot believe. No. Oh, I can't believe. And what'd you tell Mum? Oh, what'd she say? Oh, really? What'd Uncle Tommy say? Oh, he must have been fuming about that. So do you play the guitar? You don't? Oh, well, it's good to talk to you anyway, old Mac. Oh, hey, lads! Don't worry about that. What? Oh, ooh. No. What's been going on? Bridge. Oh, I shot something. Stop me. Look, we need an update really? on our guitar play situation. Tim, like how's it been going for you? Oh, yeah, still no bites, really? Steve. Ah, oh, really? Well, Mark, what about you? Oh, oh. Sorry, Steve, I'm about to save a ton on car insurance by switching to Gecko. I'll be with you in a minute. Hey, lads. Have you considered Ricky? He's about as nutty as you, nut bars. <laughs> You're so pretty. Yeah, I know. Well, I wish you had hair so I could pet it. Oh, oh lads, uh, emergency meeting in our, our office. Let's go. Come on. Oh, sorry, gotta go. Lads, Ricky is our first serious guitarist possibility. What do you guys think? Well, Steve, do we actually know anything about him? Ah, it's a good point, Tim. No. We need some background info on this Ricky character. Oh, 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 I know. We can use my new booster chair. I'll just look up Hartsman and get the scoop. Good idea, Mark. Here we go, Hartsman and Ricky. Ricky, here it is. Oh, here hey, it is. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Mark, you're so good at using that new <laughs> phone book thing. Thanks, Tim, my young New Zealand friend. I'll show you how to use it one day. Oh, yeah. All right. 
Oh, it's ringing, it's ringing. Um, hello, Mr. Hartman. This is the lunch lady here. Oh. I'd like to ask you a few questions about tomorrow's lunch order. Oh. Ask him, does he rock? Do you rock? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You do, but... Oh, you do what with some rocks? Oh, that's just rude to speak to the lunch lady like that. <laughs> Oh, he's passionate, that's for sure. True, bro. Or should I say, lunch lady? <laughs> <laughs> I totally had him. I totally did. Oh, so <laughs> hey, do you guys actually know if he plays guitar? I mean, is the guitar the same as a ukulele or what? Oh, scientifically, Steve, I think you'll find they're exactly the same. Oh, good. No, okay. Actually, they're quite different. Huh? Ukuleles have four strings, G, C, E and A, whereas guitars have six strings, E, B, G, D, A and low E. Oh. Tim, you seem to know an awful lot about the guitar over yeah, there. a whole lot more than the lunch lady. We'll never get her to try out for our band. <laughs> wow. Mark, you've given me an idea. We'll hold band tryouts. A lad's audition. What kind of audition, Steve? Well, Mark, we will assemble the best guitarists from across the land, and they shall each, one by one, try out to be in our band. Tonight, we will see some of the nation's top guitar players compete for the coveted spot of Lads Guitarist. I am Brian Sequest, and this is your Lads Auditions. Our first person to audition is Harvey Wettelman. Harvey, what are you going to show the judges today? Uh, well, Brian, uh, I'm going to show these, these judges that are... I'm gonna be the next Les Guitarist! Woo! All right, Harvey, well, show them what you've got. Uh, all right. Okay, Harvey, well, uh, let's see what the judges have to say about that. I think they're gonna like it, Brian. <laughs> well, Harvey, you know that I love you, and America loves you, but for me, for you, I just wasn't feeling it, so I'm gonna have to say no. Simon? Uh, you know, Harvey, that could well have been the best display of the worst guitaring I've seen in my life, bro. My advice to you, Never take up that guitar again in your life, all right? If you at home would like to vote for Harvey, please dial in 555-785-6464-5312-7896 or text in the word Axolotl to my personal phone. After the break, we have more of your Lads Audition. Tonight on the show, we've got the top 10 reasons why eating oatmeal helps you get friends. Stylish Big Sure will pop in to tell us about socks, and we've got Lad's audition reject, Harvey Wettelman. <laughs> Don't miss the Jen Geno Talk Show tonight. <laughs> Hi, we're back with your Lads Auditions. I am Brian Sequest. Our next contestant is a former monk. No, not a monk. I'm a monkey. A chimpanzee, to be exact. OK, I see. Wow. Will you be able to play your guitar wearing that outfit? Well, I'm hoping the whole nation will see that I can. OK, take it away, Mr. Monkey Man. <laughs> Simon. Uh, Steve, I actually found this guy in the phone book. He's one of my new friends. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to the judges and see what they think about Mr. Monkey Man. Well, first of all, Mr. Monkey Man, I love your outfit. Love it, love your story. And in the lands, we're all about chimpanzees. Isn't that right, Simon? What did you say? Who? Me? What? 
Chimpanzee? No, mm. We're, mm. we're not about chimpanzees. We're not. We're not. Oh. How about gibbons? We like gibbons. Ah, uh, well, now gibbons, yes, we, we do, do like, like gibbons. gibbons. Okay, Mr. Monkey Man, can you do something more of a gibbon? No. In the whole guitar playing monkey market, chimpanzee is my particular niche. <laughs> oh, just try something simple like a ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Hold on. Wait, stop, everyone. Stop, okay? Look, Mr. Monkey Man, thanks for coming out today, but. It's just not going to work out, all right? Oh. Come on, get out of here. Uh, go, uh, next, please. Tim, what's up, man? You seem down. Well, I am down, Murray. Right now, I'm missing out on my lifetime dream to rock out with the lads. Well, why aren't you with the auditions chasing the dream? Well, Ricky tried to chase his dreams, and look what happened to him. Yeah, well, Tim, there's a right way and there's a wrong way to chase your dreams, and uh, old Ricky there just chased it the wrong way. But anyway, what did the manager say? Uh, he told me to believe in myself and go for it. Okay, then why aren't you at the auditions now? Well, because Steve and Mike won't take me seriously. They just think I'm too young. They think I'm a kid. Well, are you ready to prove them wrong? I can't, Murray. You've got to be 18 to audition. I'm only 17. Hmm, I might have an idea. Oh, Lonnie. Where's Liney? Liney! Liney! Ugh! What you doing? No, get up here! Mm -mm. It's a shame. Are you ready to do something actually really special with that makeup of yours? Uh, hello, Murray. Is the fish thirsty? Will you take Tim and that old car of yours and drive down to the Kojak Theater? But you guys gotta hurry, man, because the audition's finished in a couple minutes. Oh, well, thanks, Murray. Yeah. yeah, go! Go! I'm Brian Sequest. This afternoon's auditions have gone from bad to worse. these auditions have left the judges wondering, will they ever find a guitarist? You know, Brian, we've seen a lot of guitarists today, and I gotta tell you, they're some of the worst guitarists I've seen in my life! <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Oh, hi, Murray. Yeah, I think we made it on time, yeah. Well, judges, do you think maybe you've set the standards a bit too high? Perhaps so, Brian. You see, I really did like the outfit of the monkey man. I don't know where he is. He's probably just getting ready. Don't worry, Murray. <sighs> Introducing tonight's final contestant. Let's hear it for Grandma Mabel. Oh, no, here we go again. Steve, oh. Steve. I might have called Grandma Mabel using my phone book. In fact, I think we're going to her place for lasagna next week. Oh, great. The lads just said that Grandma Mabel rocks. She must surely be the favorite so far. They liked Grandma Mabel. Yeah, I know it's sad for Tim, but um, just just wait, Murray. Grandma Mabel, is there anything you'd like to say to the judges? Uh, oh, well, uh, I was wondering, am I too old to play in your band? <laughs> Grandma Mabel, when you play like that, there's no age limits, right, Mark? That's right, Steve. <laughs> Okay, well, in that case, I'd like to show you something. Did you say it doesn't matter what age I am? Tim, you can play guitar. All along, you've been able to wail, but you didn't even tell us. Tim, why didn't you tell us you could play guitar? Well, 
Well, uh... Look, Tim, you can't be in our band if you're gonna keep secrets. Why didn't you just tell us? Well, I... I... I never thought it could be like this To rock out with the lads And maybe make this dream come true We never knew that you could play the guitar You're so new, you're so young Hey, can you even drive a car? It's a dream to me, it's a dream this way As high as a kite on a windy day So high, so high, so high, so high Or even higher like an albatross Or other birds that fly really high High, yeah But what about these secrets? Do you have any more? Any peculiar quirks that we just cannot ignore I still sleep with my blankie, Mr. Tum Tums That's okay, my blankie's called Jum Jums But I've also got really hairy arms Wow, wow, they're really hairy But Tim, those really hairy arms are just one of your many charms It's a dream to me, it's a dream this way As high as a kite on a windy day So high, so high, so high, so high Even higher than an albatross I wanna go and touch the sky Scream to me, it's a dream this way Tell me what bird flies even higher So high, higher than a chicken so on a quail or a duck I know the thing you're licking But I don't wanna be stuck here With these empty dreams in my head So lads, I know it wasn't planned, but I gotta know, am I in the band? That is the question. We now know he is not Grandma Mabel. He can play the guitar. He sleeps with his blankie. But is he in the band? We'll know after the break. Tonight on the Jen Geno Talk Show. Tonight on the Jen Geno Talk Show, we've got the real Grandma Mabel, and she's going to tell us what she's cooking the lads for dinner on Monday. And we'll be revealing the top 10 rockers who still sleep, oh yes, with their blankies. I made you some pie, dearie. Oh, thank you, Grandma Mabel. Hi, I'm Brian Sequest, and this is your Lads Auditions. Tim, you gave a rocking guitar solo that everyone enjoyed. But let's see what the judges had to say about it. Mark, you laughed. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but also went on to say it was O for awesome. No, 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 that's awesome, Brian. Awesome. No, no, no awesome. Steve. You initially liked the way Tim played, but went on to say, Tim, you cannot be in our band if you have secrets like that. That's true, Brian. I did say that. That was me. <laughs> it was. Yeah. I heard that. <laughs> good one. Tim, in my hand, I have the final decision from the judges. Tim, how do you feel right now? Well, nervous, Brian, but this is my dream. I only hope that if I don't make it into the band, then I can still be the roadie. Tim, the judges have voted, and Tim... Come on, Tim, come on. You... You are still the lad's roadie. Wait, there's more. Not only are you still the lad's roadie, but you are also the new lad's guitarist. Congratulations. Yeah. Good job, bro. Oh, yeah, awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
What a night it's been, folks. I'm Brian Sequest. Thanks for joining us. This is your Lads Auditions. So it finally happened. Tim's big dream to be in the band has come true. I am so excited for him. Do you know God loves us to dream about the incredible things that he has in store for our lives? The Bible even says in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever dream of or imagine. Now, some people think, yeah, but who am I to dream? Look at me. I come from this place or I can't do this or I'm not good enough at that. Do you know that when God looks at you, he absolutely loves you just as you are right now. But he also sees who you will be in him. He knows your future and he is your greatest supporter, cheering you on from the sidelines. He will be right beside you in the hard times and has the power to make amazing things happen in and through your life. That's all from me, Murray, for this week. We're going to leave you with a song from the lads out on tour. Remember, dream big because God is big and nothing's impossible for him. I'll see you guys. Grandma swear to work fast, look at me.